Hey guys, it's time for an Ask Michaela. I asked you guys on social media like always to ask me questions and boy did you guys do that. So I'm here to answer all of them for you guys in a video. Let's get started. Okay, so I got one question on Facebook and then um, I got a whole bunch on Snapchat and Instagram. So I'm gonna start with the Facebook one, get that done, and then switch over to Snapchat. So I got one question on Facebook, so I wanted to go ahead and do that first. Okay, Jonas Ignacio, love the name by the way. I love your hair. For how long have you been growing it out? Okay, so I love my hair too. <laughs> um, I've been growing it out for, I would say, pretty much two years now. I used to wear a wig. For those of you guys who have been subscribed for quite a long time know this. I wore a 16 inch real hair wig, human hair, and it was like naturally wavy. It looks similar to this. It was more wavy than curly. Um, I just got tired of it, so I was like, you know what, girl, bad. Took the wig off and just grew my hair. And yeah, I've been so happy with my natural hair the way it is. So, almost two years. Thanks for your question. Okay, now it's time for Snapchat. So I'm gonna do videos first. Then I screenshotted all your messages. So. Let's do videos and pictures. So I have four, so let's do this. I'm gonna turn the viewfinder this way so I can see that I'm on this. There we go. Okay, let's do, first one is by It's Keisha Nine. I wanna ask you what's your favorite makeup product that you're using? And by the way, I'm like your biggest fan ever. I love you and yeah. Dude, you're fabulous. <laughs> okay, favorite makeup product I'm using right now. Oh my gosh. You know what, honestly, this lipstick, you guys. I've been living for this lipstick. I honestly think it makes me just look prettier. <laughs> it really, really does. Um, okay, so let me show it to you, I have it right here. I've been just using it like for days now, I'm obsessed. It'll definitely be one of my favorites for sure. It's by Urban Decay. First of all, the packaging is super pretty. It's like floral. And it's called Mad Hatter, and it's metallicized by Urban Decay. I got it from Alta in my Alta summer haul. Check it out if you haven't already, that haul. It is so pretty. It's like a purple, but it also has like a blue also. So it's almost like you're doing like a purpley blue ombre lip. I think it is so pretty. It's almost like a galaxy color. It is so pretty. Like, I'm living for it. Oh, thanks for your question, girl. You look gorgeous. Okay, so let's keep it going. <laughs> keep it going, keep it going. Oh, would you ever try red lip? If so, I got some drugstore recommendations. Uh, okay. Okay, um, oh my gosh. Um, Wait, are you asking me for recommendations or you want to give me a recommendation? I don't know. Okay, but anyway. Um, okay, let's see. Drugstore lip. Um, I would say, okay, well, one, I love red lips. I don't really wear red lips very often. I'm thinking about starting to do that more often now because, I don't know, why not? I usually do a lot of bold, I mean, a lot of nudes and uh, pinks, but you know what? I'm trying this lip in the next few videos and I think I'm gonna do it in the next few weeks. I'm living for this lip. So why not do the red? Maybe next, maybe in June I'll do red lips. <laughs> okay, and if you're asking me for recommendations, I love the Revlon Colorstay one. Um, it's more like a corally red. Um, I'm trying to think. Ooh, Milani has a really pretty red out right now that I love, so yeah. And if you wanna give me recommendations, yeah, girl, give me some recommendations if you wanna give me some, yeah. For sure, anytime, girl. Just not me, girl. <laughs> okay, uh, and that was by Brina underscore bewitched. Okay, next one is from Renee Morgan. Hey, you've probably been asked this before, but your skin always looks so perfect, and I'm looking for a new foundation, and I was wondering what is your favorite like foundation brand? Okay, hey girl, you're fabulous by the way, you're gorgeous, oh my god, girl. Okay, uh, foundation brand, okay. Thank you, I, oh, you're so sweet, my skin. You know what, girl, makeup does wonders, I gotta say. Um, 
Favorite foundation for my skin. Well, right now, I'm trying to think what I'm wearing right now. Oh, I'm having a total brain fart right now. Um, on my foundation right now, Tarte Amazonian Clay. So right now I'm wearing the Tarte Amazonian Clay. I really love it. I would say for high end, I like the Kat Von D Tattoo Locket. The Tarte Amazonian Clay I'm wearing right now, and I, I mean, I mean, just it's flawless. I like the Revlon Color Stay for Drugstore. Cover Girl 2 in 1, 3 in 1, sorry, is it 2 in 1, 2 3, 3 in 1, whatever it's called. The Cover Girl 3 in 1, I think. Um, yeah, 3 in 1. And for high end, I also like Clinique, the Clinique Foundation. So, yeah. Thanks for your question. Okay, one more video or picture by Katarina Gravity. Hey, girl. Diva Squad, love you. Ah! Love you too. Hi, my diva squad. What up? Ah, so cute. I love my little diva squad. <laughs> okay, so that's that. So now I screenshotted a bunch of comments. So I'm going to answer those. I have a question for your Q and A. What made you want to change the dynamic of your YouTube channel to more serious topics rather than just make tutorials? And this is by Patrice on Snapchat. Um, you know what, I just, I really always wanted my own talk show, honestly. So I was like, you know what, let me just make this into a little talk show. You know, I can talk about different topics, give my advice, do rant videos, story times, just all these different kind of videos. I just love doing that. Um, yeah, do hauls and favorite videos and, you know, talk about makeup too and stuff like that, but do like personality based videos because those are the videos that I like to watch the most. So yeah. Catherine on Snapchat. Nick Jonas or Justin Bieber? Oh my God, girl, you're killing me with this one. <laughs> um, I would have to say Justin Bieber because I've liked him longer. And I think he is just so versatile. Whether he has tattoos or no tattoos, you know, more muscle, less muscle, more slim or more muscle, um, whether he has tattoos or not, whether his hair is shaved or dreadlocks or brown or whatever, I just think he looks great no matter what. And his voice is like an angel. His voice soothes my soul, honey. So Justin Bieber always, but Nick Jonas, you can call me any day, baby, because you're sexy too. Mm -hmm. uh, fave drugstore makeup brand. Love you, girl. Love you too. Mwah. Fave drugstore makeup brand, I would have to say Milani. Their lipsticks smell like watermelon and they are super pigmented and pretty packaging and really good. So yeah, Milani and their blushes are everything. So for sure. Milani all the way. Pita, Peta, I hope I, I don't know, is it Pita or Peta? I'll say Pita, okay, on Snapchat. Are you trained in a certain job if you wanted to give up YouTube? And if not, what would you do if you didn't want to vlog anymore? Okay, um, am I trained? Well, I do have a certificate, I believe, in fashion merchandising, I think. Uh, <laughs> um, so I guess I, I could get some kind of fashion job, I don't know. Um, if I wanted to, which I don't. <laughs> um, and what would I do if I didn't want to vlog anymore? Well, honestly, I honestly, I think I'm always gonna vlog, because I love it, and uh, make videos for you guys, because I just, I'm addicted to it. <laughs> At this point, I'm just an addiction, it's addiction to it. Um, what would I do if I didn't want to vlog? Honestly, I'd have my own talk show, or I probably would, I don't know. Maybe I'd get my own talk show, because girl, I love to talk about everything. Okay, so those are all the questions on Snapchat. So now I also got a lot of questions on Instagram, so let's go to Instagram. Okay, Miss underscore Mary Elizabeth asks, Vanity Diva, I know that you are a diva. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> but what is one thing that makes you sad about the world right now, and how would you change it? Honestly, the just like the rude comments I see on people's pages, um, it makes me sad. You know, all the negativity online. You know, people are just so quick to just judge everybody and just attack them for anything, and it just makes me super sad to see because, you know, why can't we just all get along and be friends? You know, Ugh, I don't know. I guess that's one thing that just makes me a little sad, you know? But other than that, YouTube is a fun place. You know, you, everyone can have their own channel and have their own fun, you know? So I like it. Uh, forgot to say how amazing you look and how much of an inspiration you are to so many. So much love to you, sweetheart. Oh, thank you so much. 
Kettle vinegar ready. <laughs> How do you keep your hair so perfect? <laughs> well, honestly, to be serious, um, I don't touch it. I don't, I don't, uh, I uh, use dry shampoo. I wash it only every three to four days. And in between there, I use dry shampoo. Not your mother's, my is my favorite right now, or Batiste. And I would say I don't color it, I don't cut it because girl, well, you can cut it if you want. But I don't really do anything, but I just, I leave it alone. I just blow dry it every three or four days, and that's it. I try to put less heat on it, and I don't color it, I don't highlight it because girl, yeah, that's how it's so curly and fabulous. Uh, it looks good all the time. What do you put in it? I honestly just use dry shampoo, and right now I'm just about finished with my Suave shampoo, the Moroccan one, and I'm about to start the um, Tresemme one again, the twin one. So I'll let you know if I like that again because I used to wear, I used to use it a lot four years ago, and I loved it. So hopefully I like it again now. If I do, it'll probably be in my June favorites. We'll see. Maybe maybe May favorites if I start using it quickly. Actually, I want to start using it pretty soon, so it'll probably maybe be my main favorites if I like it. Okay. Um, also, what's your favorite flavor? I would say watermelon. I'm loving watermelon everything. Yeah. And do you like Farrah Abraham? You know what? I do. She's a bitch diva. I love it. <laughs> I like her, and I loved her on Slow to Big Brother UK. She made the show. Her and Jenna Jameson were a great team. Team Jera for life, honey. Um, very Abraham. You know, I really do. I like her style. I think her hair is really pretty. She has fake lips, and I think it looks good on her. Um, her boobs look good. She's tan. She's pretty. She's crazy and out of control. I love it, though. <laughs> um, also, you are so... Oh, um, I think she said I look really good. Thank you so much. And I love how she said, I love your mommy diva. Oh, I love you, too. Ah, so cute. Okay. Underscore Jessa underscore, and this is all on Instagram, by the way. Have you ever considered dyeing your hair a caramel color? I think it would look so nice in you. Also, what is your number one favorite makeup product right now? Okay, um, I have considered it. I almost did it a few months ago, and I was like, no, 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 no. I need to have my hair natural because it always looks really good natural. Because in high school, I used to color my hair brown. I used to do, um, I used to bleach it and put highlights all over it all the time, and my hair was crazy looking. It was frizzy and crazy. So. I've learned to just let it be. Trust me. It's always the best letting it be. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I agree. I would look pretty in caramel. But I don't know. I'm, just, I'm living for the dark. I think I look more exotic with dark hair. So yeah. <laughs> Favorite makeup product right now, I would say, other than this lipstick. Um, you know what? I like the Lights Camera. Is it Lights Camera Action or Lights Camera? Something that, you know, the tart, you know, the gold tart mascara. I'm living for that. I'm wearing it right now. This. Yeah, I'm wearing it right now. And I really like the Buxom Eyeliner in black. And my L'Oreal Eyeliner for the top. And... Yeah. I like the Master Contour by Maybelline. I like that a lot. It's like a natural, pretty cheek. Comes with a bronze, highlight, and a blush. Uh, do you like Italian food? This is by the underscore real underscore California underscore girl. Um, I do, but girl, since I've been on my diet since last summer, I have been eating none of that. Um, but I'm on the search for a healthy version of fettuccine alfredo, so if you guys know a healthy version of that, let me know, girl. <laughs> K-R-I-V-E-R-A-F. Uh, what are your plans for the summer? Any traveling? Um... Honestly, a whole lot of pool and beach for sure. I want to get super bronze, even more than now for the summertime. Any traveling? Well, um, maybe we can all go together to Fiji together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe we can all travel together as a subscriber group, uh, Diva Squad, summer 2016. Um, no plans yet, but you never know. Maybe some traveling around Texas, maybe. Allie M. Roberts 10, what got you into YouTube? Honestly, about six years ago, one summer, summer 2010, I was really, really bored. My friend was like, you should do uh, videos. And I was like, eh, I don't know about that. And I decided, you know what, why not? Because you know what, what's gonna, I mean, what's the worst that could happen? No one watches it, okay, whatever. I did, you know what, let me just do this and see what happens. And I. I think I up, my first video I ever uploaded, of course, is on another channel, and all those videos have been private since then. But this is like 2010, August 2010, August 16, 2010, to be exactly, to be exact. 
and I uploaded like, I guess an outfit of the day for school, but it was like gray pumps and like mini shorts. It was like basically something you'd wear to the club, but I was supposed to be school OOTD. And I talked about like what makeup I'm using from, I don't know, it was, it was kind of a mess. But um, yeah, hey, it was the first video and it got me excited about doing videos for you guys. So, and since then, so much have changed. I've changed, I've grown up and my videos have changed and my channel has changed. I switched channels, now I'm on this channel since 2012. And so yeah, it's just been a whole lot has changed and it's crazy. But yeah, I was just bored one summer and decided to turn the camera on and start filming. So, <laughs> last question from Instagram and I think last question in general. What is your first memory and slash or your favorite memory ever? Also, are you seriously doing amazing? Oh, you are seriously doing amazing with everything. Keep up the good work, so proud. Thank you so much. First memory slash favorite memory ever. I would probably say one of my favorite memories is my dad got me this really cute red sports car, like sports a toy car that you can like sit and drive in. This is like a long time ago. And I remember like getting so excited about the car that I sat in it and I got so excited that I opened the car door and I fell backwards and I started laughing and there's like video and pictures of it. Um, and it was just super cute and I was just so happy to have this little cute red car when I was like three. Those red cars you can sit in and just drive around in. So, yeah, that's one of my first memories. And I just remember how big my face, like the house, how big the smile on my face was. It made me smile thinking about it. <laughs> Those are all the questions I got. So, follow me on social media. Links in the description box below. And then next time I do a new q and I'll be asking you guys to ask me questions on there. So, that's where you guys can send me your questions when I ask you guys. Okay, I will uh, see you guys very soon. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe down below to become a member of the Diva Squad. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.